All right. And up next, we have TJ McCormick. He's from Las Vegas, Nevada, and he does acoustic music. And he grew up in the Calvary chapels and led worship and played on worship teams most of his life. Um, and so he, he has, his passion is to promote sing the word. And I, from what I understand is that you you just write music that is just scripture songs and you, you base your lyrics like just on scripture. Yes. The, um, the, the, discipline of doing that came to me very early in my Christian walk. I was able to uh, hang out with a guy at a, a church, uh, Calvary Chapel, Seal Beach, and this gentleman just, every time he came to worship practice, he said, hey, I got a new song. <laughs> and he had new songs all the time. It was amazing. But they were all songs that were based on scripture, and most of the time they were just straight through, straight scripture. And that has been my passion now for the last couple of years. I, I had a stroke a while ago, and uh, I, I sort of got out of work, and I was like, well, I don't want to sit around and do nothing, so I better do something. And, and God's just kind of put a lot of these things on, on my heart. So, so yeah, I, I, I would love to share a few of these with you. Awesome. Well, I'm going to hand it over to you, and I'm really excited to hear, especially your ukulele music. I love the ukulele <coughs> Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I gotta put a little mic over here. All right. This is Psalm 1, 1 through 3. It's so hard for me to talk and play. I'm working on it. It's only been 43 years. In ASB. How blessed is the man who does not walk. What's good about songs like this is like you get to learn scripture and memorize scripture. And as I've been writing these, it's been so much fun to uh, to like when I hear somebody talking about something because I've got dozens of these songs in my mind, 
it's like I know so much scripture through the, these songs. It's just been beautiful. And, and uh, I, I just love doing this. So this next one's called Count It All Joy. It's James 1, 2, oops, 2 through 5. And this one's New King James. If you have a Bible app, if you want to look up James uh, 1, 2 through 5, New King James, you can do that as well and follow along. One of the things I like to do is once you hear the song and hear the words, it's like so such a great way to pray into moments. And I just want to pray just for a moment for people listening, the other musicians. I, Lord, I just ask that you would just continue to pour your wisdom into us, Lord, that, that as we face trials, God, that you would continue to let us count it all joy. And Lord, to know that this is you testing our faith this is you bringing us closer to your heart and jesus that's that's our desire is just to be closer to your heart lord and i just pray that all the people that are listening all the people that are sharing tonight that lord you would just do that you would just draw them closer and bring them closer and closer to your heart lord giving wisdom for situations if there's decisions to be made Please, God, just pour your wisdom into people that are making big life decisions, even right now, God. And ask all this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Oh, I like this song.
22, 20 through 22. And wait for the version. There it is. Another new King James version for the song. As you as you go through the scripture, it's amazing the things that you read. And then sometimes you just forget it. And it's like you're so blessed. And sometimes these things are just little jewels that God gives us. And then it's like we move on and we do other things. And the thing that I love about doing songs like this is that you can retain those jewels and you can keep coming back to them over and over. You can keep listening or singing or, you know, whatever you do. And, you know, singing just gives you such a deep way to remember things about uh, the Word of God. And I just, I just love just writing these songs. Um, here's a little bit more upbeat one. Let's see, I don't know what key this is. And all those who had believed were together. Oh yeah, it's Acts. So this is uh, Acts 2, 44 through 47, NASB. Acts 2, 44 through 47. So I bet you didn't think you were going to need to open up your Bible <laughs> during this time. And all those, and all those who had believed were together and had all things in common, and they began selling their property and possessions and were sharing them with all as anyone might have day by day, continuing with one mind in the temple, breaking bread from house to house. say Chris Mullins, but that's not him. But it's the one who did Heart of Worship. And one of the things that's inspiring me to play just ukulele is uh, just thinking about when the music fades, all is stripped away. And I, I spent a lot of time when I was sick trying to produce music, and I, and I had drums, and I had bass and I, I could play most of the instruments and I was I was trying to produce all these songs and, and I just kind of came back to the idea of, of like I'm coming back to the heart of worship 
It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. And I just thought, man, this, this is so nice. So having a ukulele to play the music really simplifies my life as well as uh, just makes it, makes it, I don't know. I'm a kind of Hawaiian at heart, I guess. <laughs> this next song is an homage to my um, my heritage of, of prog rock, and uh, I decided to write a 7-4 song. I know I probably shouldn't have, but I like it, and uh, it's a real easy one. It's Joshua 1-9. I'm not too sure what version it is, but I think it's in ASB. The name of the song is God is With You. <laughs> How am I doing on time? Uh, one more song? One more. Great. This is um, out of Zephaniah 317, New King James Version. And I can't believe I spent most of my Christian life not knowing this scripture. And I'm just going to sing it for you, but if you want to look it up, it's New King James, um, Zephaniah 3.17. Joy. 
And Lord, I know that tonight we're not the only ones singing. That, Lord, you are rejoicing over us. You are singing to us, God. Let us just take a moment to hear your voice, to just know that you are pleased with your children, Lord, that you are, you just want to lavish your love over us, God. Bring us your love. Bring us your peace. Bring us your joy, God. And Lord, in this, these times when the world's a little crazy, God, we know that you've got this totally, completely, utterly, without any reservations, under control. Let us live in that peace, that joy, and especially your love. And we ask all of this in Jesus' precious name. Amen.